Fonzo Top Bill and his best friend Corky Up on the hill, let's watch them as they play Top Bill and his best friend Corky. Bottle Top Bill. It's going to be a wonderful day, Bill. And a very special one too, Corky. Because we're going to a party. That's right. Today is Dandy's birthday. Dandy is going to love our present, Bill. A new bag for her magic fairy dust. A sparkly new bag. Let's get it wrapped, Corky. Then we can be on our way. I love going to Fairyland. Me too. We'll always have fun there. And we have so many good friends. Especially Dandy. That's right, Corky. She's one of our best friends ever. Let's go straight to Dandy's treehouse, Bill. And give her a big birthday surprise. I think there'll be lots of friends at Dandy's house. Too right. Everyone loves a birthday party. I hope Dandy's house is big enough. She won't have the party in her house. She'll have it in the garden. There's lots of room there. I don't see anyone, Bill. Maybe we've come too early. Hang on, Corky. I see someone now. And they're small and they've got wings. Do you think it's Dandy? I'm sure it is. Right, let's surprise her. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> Did we give you a surprise? It's a surprise, all right. I suppose you think it's funny to scare someone. Oh, we're sorry. We thought you'd enjoy it. Well, I didn't. If you're here for the party, you're early. Please go away. Paint me pink, Corky. I've never seen Dandy grumpy before. Something must be wrong. But what? I don't know. Let's go and ask. Who shall we ask, Bill? How about Tricky the Troll? Good idea, Bill. Tricky knows everything that goes on in Fairyland. He sure does. Tricky! Hello. Bill Cocky! <laughs> Hi! Those balloons look great, Tricky. They're for Dandy's birthday party. Do you think she'll like them? We're not sure. Not sure? Why not? That's what we've come to ask you about. Why is Dandy so grumpy today? Dandy? Dandy's never grumpy. Never, ever. But we just saw her. She was really grumpy. Super grumpy. Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. Are the balloons ready, Tricky? All done and ready to go, Dandy. Oh, yes. They look beautiful. Thank you, Tricky. My pleasure. And it's so good to see you, Bill and Corky. It is? I do hope you're coming to my party. Uh, yes. At least, uh, if you want us. Oh, of course I want you. You're two of my best friends. Great. We'll be there for sure. Good. Now I'd better take those balloons home and put them up. Here you go, Dandy. Thanks, Tricky. See you all soon. What were you two talking about? Dandy isn't grumpy. You're right, Tricky. She isn't grumpy at all. She's very happy. And she'll be even happier when she gets the present rumble and I made. I'll see you there. See you there, Tricky. I'm sure Dandy was grumpy before, Bill. Maybe she was grumpy because we gave her a fright. That must be it, Bill. Let's make it up to her and help get the party ready. Good idea. What do you think we can do to help? I don't know. Let's ask Dandy. Dandy, hello. Oh no, not you again? What do you want now? We've come to help prepare the party, remember? Go away! Go away? Far away and stay away! I'm confused, Corky. Me too. One minute Dandy says we're her friends. And the next, she tells us to go away. What's going on? We need to speak to someone else about this, Bill. Spot on, Corky. Who do you think we should see this time? Someone we know very well. And someone who knows Dandy very well. Right, Corky. The 
And that must be Rumble the Dragon. Rumble! Hello! Over here! Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. What are you making there? It's Dandy's birthday cake, it is. I can't wait for the party. It'll be such fun. It might not be, Rumble. Not if Dandy keeps on being grumpy. Dandy's never grumpy, she's not. But she's been very grumpy with us. Twice. Rumble, hello! Here's the eggs you wanted. I hope there's enough. Plenty. <gasps> Doesn't it look yummy? I hope you like cake, Bill and Corky. Uh, yes, we do, Dandy. That's if we're allowed to have some. We'll get some. That's right. I must fly. So much to do. See you all at the party. Dandy wasn't grumpy, she wasn't. But she was grumpy. Uh, wasn't she corky? I'm sure she was. I think. I've got to hurry with this cake. I don't want to be late with the cake, I don't. Uh, we'll see you at the party, Rumble. Bye for now, Rumble. First Dandy was grumpy. They're nice. Then grumpy, and now nice again. We've got to get to the bottom of this, Corky. Time for action. Let's watch Dandy without her knowing, Corky. Maybe that way we can find out what's going on. Keep very still and very quiet. What are you two doing? First, you scare a fairy. Now you're spying on a fairy. You two need a good lesson. A lesson? What sort of lesson? A lesson in how magic fairy dust can turn you into big fat toads. Let's get out of here, Corky. Right behind you, Bill. You can run now, but you'll soon be hopping and breaking too. Oh, you stupid old bag. Corky, I think we've outrun her. Why is Dandy so cross with us? I don't understand it, Corky. I don't understand it at all. Bill! Corky! Look! Isn't this marvellous? No, Dandy, please. We're sorry for whatever we did wrong. Please don't turn us into toads. Run, Corky! Bill! Corky! Come back! It's only a candle for the cake. The Fairy Queen gave it to me. Oh no! We're right back at Dandy's home! Home, Bill? That's where we should go! You're right, Corky. Home it is. Oh! Hey! Where are you going? The party's just about to start! And we're all here! We're trapped, Corky! Bill! Corky! Is everything alright? You've both been acting very strangely today. What's the matter? We're confused, Dandy. One minute you're nice to us, the next minute you're grumpy. And we don't know why. What's all this noise about? I'm trying to have a nap! What the...? Yikes! Paint me pink. Now I understand. Everybody, I'd like you to meet my twin sister, Brandy. Brandy, these are my friends. Bill, this explains everything. You got it, Corky. What's going on? We got all mixed up because one moment you were grumpy, then nice, then grumpy. Now we know it's because there are two of you. A grumpy fairy who we thought was you, Dandy, but was really Brandy. Grumpy? Who are you calling a grumpy fairy? Uh, well, um... I don't want to be at this silly party. I'm going. Brandy, stay for the party, please. We're sorry, Dandy. We didn't mean to upset your sister. She really is very nice. She's only grumpy because she doesn't have any friends to spend her birthday with. Of course. If she's your twin, then today must be her birthday too. But she can have friends to spend it with. Who? All of us. Where would Brandy go, Dandy? She does like it down there. Then let's see if she's down there. Oh, I have been grumpy today. Poor Dandy. I should go back and apologise. Brandy! We've come to tell you about the new party. It will be twice as good as the old one. What new 
birthday party for Dandy and you. Happy birthday! Is this true? You bet. We want to have a big party, we do. With lots of cake and presents. Oh, thank you. That's so very nice of you. Now, let's arrange the birthday picnic. you have the red one and Daddy has the blue one, we can tell you apart. Cake! Cake! Let's have cake! I'll light the candle, I will. Stand back. Let's blow it out together, Brandy. One, two, three! Happy birthday! It's a wonderful day after all, Bill. It wasn't so wonderful at first, Corky. But it's turned out wonderful now. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. Buttertop Bill and his best friend.